Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got a really great card slap to share with you guys. How about that? Oh boy, that was satisfying. Anyways, I also have a pocket knife here as a second, right, means of entertainment. Uh, I have a feeling it's a Migron. I can kind of see through the uh, bubble wrap there. We're going to find out what it is together. Thanks so much to Migron for sending it in for me to take a look at. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Um, <clears throat> this is most likely available. So I will have it linked down in the, the uh, description. It does help my channel uh, when you guys use those links, but that is entirely up to you. So yeah, the link will be down there for this. So this is most likely a, a, a less expensive scent cut. <laughs> Migron, what? so these labels, there's got to be a way to print this information and expand it so we see the whole thing, right? But I guess that may not be their priority. The name of this will be linked down in, in the uh, description. Oh, you know what? This actually doesn't look like an inexpensive Migron. This looks like a pretty nice one. Maybe a, maybe a little bit of in-between. We've got some nice red and black carbon fiber. That might be a G10 and carbon fiber combination. Nice looking stuff that we have a, uh, let's see, is that part of the frame? Yeah. So that's the frame. So faux bolster. And then we've got a sub frame lock, right? Just most of it being covered by the overlay. We have a nice milled clip here. We have a nice backspacer. Very migrani. Uh, we have the Majin, lo I'm sorry, the uh, Migron logo right there. And we have a little bit of blue around the pivot collar. Looks like T8 across the board. Very good. Let's take a look at the blade. Yeah, I can kind of guess that that's roughly about what the blade would look like. But you know what? Um, it works. Migron doesn't necessarily take a lot of chances. And that's okay. I would like to see them take more chances. To be honest, what do we have here? M390. I'm, I'm going to get, wow, I will say this though, come on there little guy, there we go. The action is very, very smooth on this, extremely smooth. The detent here is, wow, that might be the glassiest action I have ever, is it actually centered? Yeah, it is, wow, is it, is there blade play? No, there isn't, that's real. That is real, very real, okay, so. My past experience with Migron has been, you know, pivot action was acceptable out of the box. And let me give you a couple of different, let me, let me break it down for you here, okay? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, cue the MC is going to break it down for you here, jokes. Uh, tighter pivot action out of the box when the um, tolerances are good. And in the case of Migron, the, to the tolerances are generally good. Creates for a situation where the knife breaks in smooth and stays solid that detent ball will wear a sort of race into the uh into the side or the face of the blade around the pivot and this smooths out over time right periodically people get confused by this and they say mine got worse well a lot of times debris gets caught right because the detent ball isn't touching anything right now so you get debris you get some lint in there and a piece of lint gets caught between the detent ball and the face of the blade and people you know are under the impression hey my knife is getting worse right or it's getting grindy you need a can of compressed air and you need a drop of 10 weight nano oil directly on the ball. A lot of people try to cake the bearings in it. You can put a drop or two on the bearings, that's fine, but a drop on the detent ball is what you want. That's what's gonna help clear it up. But anyways, that creates for a better break-in period. And you may have to tighten the pivot. You may have to lock tight the pivot or relock tight the pivot with some blue 242 Loctite, right? But that's acceptable, that's okay, right? Uh, now, super duper smooth pivot action out of the box. They, I, I feel like they probably changed something. I feel like Migron most likely altered something to make the action a little bit better out of the box. As this breaks in, it may require pivot adjustment, but it's not necessarily bad, right? Doesn't necessarily equate to a situation where the action is going to break in so much that the knife becomes, you know, floppy. Old banana kind of, you know, nah, you know, uh, not necessarily. I like this. Um, this is 
it's most likely a model that's got a few different choices with the uh, carbon fiber. Um, nice, straightforward, very Myguron style blade. And by that, I mean like not a whole lot going on here. We have a blasted blade, right? We got some texturing on the scales. These work and are very inexpensive. If you've never, you know, taken a look at Myguron, um, they use nice materials. I think their heat treat on their steel could be a little better, definitely. I think they should take some more risks, not only with blade shapes, but with blade finishes. Uh, it would be nice to see something else besides a blasted blade. I do like that we've got, you know, a little bit different scale material uh, material here. And, you know, truth be told, these are critiques from, you know, you gotta, let's put this into perspective here. I'm a knife reviewer who literally unboxes new knives every single day. So I start to kind of lean into the interesting designs and the things that are a little outside of the box. Pun that was a bad pun. Um, but <laughs> accidentally bad pun. Um, but uh, when it comes down to the design and does it work? Yes. This formula, these companies have this formula figured out, right? We've got good ergonomics. We have a milled clip, right? Edges are knocked down and it's a fairly organic overall profile. I want to say that's slightly under eight inches. I'm just using my magic knife reviewer genie powers to come to that conclusion. Um, nope, those powers are useless. It's right on eight inches. Blade length is coming in at three and a half and cutting edge is very nearly three and a half. This is, they, they really are kind of staying within a very specific parameter. Migron, I think you guys have good stuff in this territory and this is probably, this is, I'm sure this is very, very well priced. It's not going to surprise me at all if this guy's priced at 170, 180, something like that. I don't know. It'll be linked down below. I didn't check this before I opened it, obviously, because I didn't know what was in there. But it'll be linked in the description. I think you guys need to try your hand at some bigger knives and some smaller knives. And I'd like to see some more interesting stuff in the blade, right? Compound grinds, harpoon notches, whatever. Freaking Tantos. <laughs> Compound Warncliffe Sheep's Foot. 360 Octopus Tuesday High Five Surprise. Knock yourself out, right? Uh, I think that might be a good idea. Uh, but for people who like a straightforward utilitarian premium folder and they don't want to pay four, five, six hundred dollars for these materials, you know, that's being manufactured in another country, these are manufactured in China. That's the only reason we're able to get these materials down to this price. Um, yeah, you know, if this is what you're after, then Migron's got an answer for you. In fact, they've got about 40 answers for you, and they're all pretty good. Uh, they've been kind of approaching an ultimate design. Like, I mean, I, I, I've, I've handled a lot of stuff from Migron that's been very, very close to perfect. And, you know, if it, if it was a report card, if I was handing out a report card to Migron, you would see a whole bunch of B plus and A minus, right? That's going to keep you out for sports. It's going to keep your parents happy, right? <laughs> People are going to have a pretty good opinion of you, but, uh, yeah. They're, they're, you're, I'm not handing out scholarships yet. All right, that's 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 all I'm saying here. Um, what a weird analogy. This is cool though. I mean, all right, it's cool. It'll be linked down in the description, and you'll get a full comprehensive review of this knife down the road. That's going to be pretty much it. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at Metal Underscore Complex if you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you'd like to check out my other content. I do, of course, have. Lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.